Hello guys, welcome back to Pentest Test Club. Today we are going to discuss about pen testing fundamentals on dry hacking. So, here, first ask, what is a penetration testing? Penetration testing is also known as pen testing in cyber security practice, where expert simulates cyber attack on computer systems uh, or network or applications to identify the vulnerabilities and weakness. The goal is to assess the security measures in place and provide recommendations for enhancing the overall security brochure. This help organization proactively identify the address potential entry points of the malicious hacker before they can exploit them. So this we complete. So now you go for penetration test ethics. So, what is like a penetration test ethics? Ethics are crucial in uh, penetration testing to ensure a responsible, res responsible and law lawful practices. Penetration must adhere for a several ethics for principles. We can see like here, like a authorization, transparency, minimization of harm, confidentiality, responsible disclosure, respect for privacy, compliance, Continuous learning, no malicious intent, professionalism also. So, you need to see here a type of hackers like white hat hackers. So, what a white hat hackers can do? So, they are like uh, skills to help organizations identify and fix the vulnerabilities in their system. They often work as a penetration tester or a security consultant. Okay, now we go for black hat hackers. So these hackers engage in unauthorized and malicious activities such as exploiting, exploiting the vulnerabilities, steal the data and uh, caching a harm. They are typically motivated by personal to gain or malicious intent. And we can see a, a grey hat hacking. So these hackers fall between the white and black hat hackers categories. They may identify vulnerabilities without authorization but may or may not be disclosed them to upload a parties, their intentions can be antiguous. So, rule of engagement. So, what is the rule of engagement here? We can see like the rule of engagement refers to a set of guidelines and parameters that outline of the scope or objective and boundaries of a specific activity or operations. In the context of cyber security and penetration testing, ROE are essential to ensure that the testing is conducted in a controlled, ethical and lawful manner. Here are some typical elements that might be included in the rule of engagement in the penetration testing engagements. So that you can see like a scope of objectives, authorization and constraint and timing and duration, testing methods and techniques rule and restrict restrictions, data handling and confidentiality, reporting and communications and escalations and incident response, legal and compliance consideration, personal and contacts and termination conditions and document signatures and many things. So now we can uh, answer these questions be below. So you are given a permission to perform a security audit on a organization what type of hacker would be it's a white hat hacker this one so you attack an organization and steal their data what type of hacker would you be is black hat hacker So, what document defines how a penetration testing and engagement should be carried out? That is rules of engagement. So, now we see task 3. Penetration testing methodologies. So, here penetration testing methodology Methodologies are structured approaches that guides the process of conducting a security assessment on system networks or applications. 
These methodologies provide a systematic framework to identify vulnerability, assess uh, security measures and recommended improvements. Here are some common penetration testings like information gathering and enumerations, exploitation, privilege, escalations and post exploitations. So what is o o -S -T -M? So this is like a open source security testing and methodology and manual. So these have uh, three structures like uh, telecommunication, wire networks and wireless communications. So these uh, focuses on uh, holistic approach to a security testing and covering operational humans and technical security for aspects. Now we go with OWASP. So what is OWASP? Open Web Application Security Project. So this concretes on testing and web applications for security vulnerabilities and it's a widely used for web application assessments. So NIST. So what is NIST? National Institution of Standards and Technologies. So it provides guidelines for the information uh, security testing and including a penetration testing and focuses on various stages of assessments process. So National Cyber Security Center. So this can do a framework like data security, system security, identify and access the control and the re resiliencies and monitoring and response and recovery planning. So now we go for answering. So what is the stage of penetration testing involves using a publicly available information. So for this publicly available information is uh, this information gathering only. It's publicly available. So if you wanted to use a framework for penetration testing and telecommunication, what framework would you use? Note, we are looking for the acronym here and not a full name is open security testing. So what framework focuses on testing of web applications? That OWASP. So now we need to know, uh, we need to study this black box, white box and gray box penetration testing. So first of all, we need to know what is a black box penetration testing? It is a type of security assessment where the testers has no uh, prior uh, knowledge to access the internal working of the target system network or applications. In other words, the tester approaches the assessment as an external attacker with a limited or no insider information. This simulates a real world scenario where an attacker tries to exploit the vulnerabilities without privileged access. So this is the black box. So what they do like a in the black box they have like a we need to tell like a in step by step okay like they have limited knowledge uh, a realistic simulation and external perspective detection of external threats no assumptions compressive assessment and validation of defense mechanism that's it so now we come to a gray box Penetration testing. So what is a gray box penetration testing? So gray box is a security assessment approaches that combines elements of both black box and white box testing. In a gray box testing, the penetration tester has a limited knowledge of the target system and network or other applications. So they possess some information about the internal works, working architecture or a code, but no complete access or com Impressive understanding. It's a partial knowledge, realistic assessments, effective testing, reduce a false positive, identify a complex vulnerabilities, 
application and network insights and effective communications also. So now we can see what is a white box penetration testing. So white box penetration testing is also known as a clear box or a glass box testing. It's a security assessment approaches where the penetration testing has full knowledge and access the internal working architecture, source code, configurations and other detailed information about the target system or network or applications. Like the key characters for this like a full knowledge, in-depth analysis, code review, efficient testing, custom exploits, verification of fixes, simulation of insider threats, complex environments, collaboration with the development team also. So, we need to answer this. So, you are asked to a test application but are not given the access to its source code with a testing process of this is, this is only a black box. So, you are asked to test a website and you are given access to the source code what is the testing process of this is a white box so partial AM, ACME penetration test so now we can see this ACME penetration testing let's launch the site ACME so now let's go through the state of penetration test assignment for the ACME company. So this stage of penetration test is where you define three primary objectives cycling through the lab the tabs before to explore this permission and test scope and rules. Okay, now we can see. Not, I think not here. yes here so now we can click on next so first of all we see permission for a penetration tester to uh, be ethical and legal both parties the company want to uh, test their application for vulnerabilities and the company while conducting the pen test will sign the document and give a clear permission of the intended of the actions so the test scope will be defined that the target environments are being tested against for example the client may only want to you to be test the part of their application and not to be the entire network. So the rule of divine define the type of behavior a penetration tester will be employed. For example you may only have access of the part of the application and you are not the entire server that host it. Click on next. So now you can see uh, first uh, stages is in information gathering. So in information gathering the stage of the engagement is often underway this the stage involves using a publicly accessible channels to collect a intel on your target. Abe who has a public profile on LinkedIn advertises that the work as ACME and even includes her mail in her bio which is the possible way you can target her work laptop and thus the company. So this is our email then we can click on next. So this is basically uh, available in the internet to get this okay. So enumeration the goal so we see enumeration or scanning. So the goal of this stage is to get a complete picture of the target a penetration tester will try to identify user accounts mechanisms and their network. Network shares, applications, etc. Information gathered from stage 2 and engagement scope documents will help to enumerating your target. The enumeration phase is very important as your findings are used at, to exploit the target system and the stage 4. So, now let's pretend Abyss from the stage 2 made a post on LinkedIn and share belong to a post and write a ACME from this post. You find a ACME a web server's IP address. So this is the web, uh, web server's IP address. You copy and try to scanning it. So put on this 
IP address then click on scan a target so now you can see uh, attacker it is a switch and it's a target so it start uh, it start the scan and starting a vulnerability scan vulnerability scan for server vulnerable web is vulnerable login is no that's it now click on next so now you can see here here is exploitation so the exploitation stage involves the knowledge from your enumeration to now identify the exploit vulnerable in any one of their applications that are in the scope for example we enumerate acmp website in the stage 3 and found that it was vulnerable and we would now exploit these vulnerabilities that's ethically hack acmp website exploiting use of vulnerability discovered to gain unauthorized access to the information of security system or data so you can see exploit basically they need to put uh, minus j and minus z okay so this is a attacker mission this is a target mission so now you can see a post exploitation so the post exploitation stage starts when you have gained the unauthorized access to a system this is the stage of the engagement your main goal will be to maintain the access of the system and escalate your privilege within the system to a super user or administrator user systems are usually set up with a normal user that do not have access of various sensitive files and functions are gaining access to a higher privileged user such as administrator will allow you to perform actions that you would not be able to as normal user so after doing you will be extracting the sensitive information from the systems and attacking over other components in the environment like you will get a get uh, sysinfo and dump the files and you can exploit you can do a permanent exploits over there can do many things so click on next so penetration pen test report on challenging up so this stage usually occurs the end of the penetration testing as of penetration tester you will have to explain the result of your engagement to the client so this usually done in the form of a report that contains a detail regarding any security issues you have found and how to mitigate them the client will be use this report to understand the security issues and the fixes the flaws in the technology when stack was tested it is also a best practice to clean the environment you have been a testing where possible expert is available there like for example if you have provided access to the machines or a tooling by the client you need to delete any other artifacts that have been created as a result in the testing so we need to answer this complete the penetration testing engagement against the acmp infrastructure and answer the format is try hack me pen test complete submit So this that's it guys the this is the fundamental uh, pen testing your fundamentals from try hack me thank you guys for watching have a nice day